G'day everyone, welcome back to the Fisherman's Office. My name's Lee, if you're tuning in for the first time, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell to receive notifications. We'll get stuck into this video. We are painting another lure. Um, this one's been, you know, sitting on the back burner for a little while. I've been doing a fair bit of fishing. If you know, I notice I'm a bit sunburned. I've been out with uh, Riley Pitts and a few other people uh, in recent weeks, hence why I've been a bit quiet on YouTube recently. I've just been really trying to get some more fishing content out for you guys. Uh, I've got a couple of good sessions coming up for you, so hopefully uh, I can get them edited and out to you as soon as possible. But for now, this is the lure painting episode. Hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So I have the stump jumper from the second build here, which I asked you guys on uh, Instagram what colours you should uh, I should try to paint this and uh, someone said something about orange and black which I like the idea of it's a bit of a contrast to the previous or well, some other colours that I've got or well, one other colour I've got I should say so I'm going to go with the orange and black uh, I'm going to actually experiment with one of these uh, glow in the dark paints I think so as well so I'm going to do like a glow in the dark scale pattern um, over the top of everything I believe or do a layer of glow um, over one of the main base coats as a like a secondary coat and then um, do like a translucent black scale pattern so it's got like it looks like a black just an ordinary black and uh, orange lure uh, when obviously you get in the dark it'll glow and highlight that scale pattern so that's pretty much what I got there that's the idea and we'll see how we go with it. Okay. I'm going to hold this a fair way back so that you guys can see what's going on. It's going to take quite a few coats. watching Korean dramas and Korean war movie or something Let's make a little stencil here Okay, so I've decided to go with some sort of weird little, little stripe pattern here. I'm just going to try and keep the orange underneath, and I'm going to whack a pearl black over the top of it. Just so I can uh, create that dark colour, and have the, uh, have the orange coming through the bottom of it. Now, there's probably a few different ways to do this, but I've, I've, you know, this is the first time I'm trying this, so, you know. Any suggestions welcome. I'm really, you know, guessing for most of this shit, so <laughs> good fun to paint a few lures though, that's for sure. I'm really having fun with this stuff. So if you enjoy the video so far, and I'm going to paint over this orange base with a black pearl. And let's hope the stencils stay where they're supposed to stay. That's like a magic already. I 
also going to come into the flanks a little bit more. See those stripes there? Yeah, not. I asked you nicely. Come on now. Oh, you idiot. Heat set, my girl. Pretty happy to start pulling these off now. A bit of over spray on there. I'll probably get better at that. Yeah, I'll probably get better at that in time. Maybe find a better material to use to to actually give me a more defined line on that. Um, I'm getting the shakes. Getting the shakes. Tip of a hook, maybe. Looking pretty mean, fluorescent orange tiger. Sort of get up with a orange accented belly. Probably could have refined the sanding process here in the prep work. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'm pretty keen to get this out already. <laughs> get out and fish with it. Now I'm adding some glow in the dark scale pattern to see if. They can bring another element to the, uh, you know, the high contrast blackened uh, orange. So, yeah, so something you, you know, you could use it at night, I guess, and 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 get some, you know, get some glow, glow goodness happening. I can just see that. I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick that up. But I can see the scale pattern in it. That looks sweet. Hmm. I'm pretty happy with that. It's a little bit wonky here. Not too bad though. I've seen worse than that. I've seen my last lure. Right now guys, so thanks a lot for watching that one. If you enjoyed the video, you enjoyed the look of it, um, let me know. Um, I wasn't too happy with the, the glow, but it did end up glowing. So yeah, pretty good there. First time I've applied that kind of paint. Uh, if you have any suggestions or anything like that with regards to uh, that sort of application, um, hit them down in the comments. I like hearing that stuff. Uh, really cool. 
So yeah, again, if you enjoy the video, drop a like on it. If you would like to subscribe uh, to see more, please do so. Also ring the bell to receive notifications as always. Thanks so much, guys. Just keep flicking.